Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. 60, some sun, some clouds, decent day, and the eclipse, of course, on the way today. Of course. Heard a lot about that this weekend. Yeah, we will uh, discuss quite a bit of it, Candy. Speaking about this weekend, I didn't hear from you. Um, could you go check your text? Because that is incorrect. Let me see. Yeah, something. I don't think so. Something major happened, and it's not the eclipse. Friday, after we got off the air. Uh, no, I'm afraid no. Uh Mm Uh-huh. Well, I texted you Friday at 10. Oh, right. Are you okay? I got it. Felt the earthquake here. The house shook. I felt it here, too. Glad (laughs) you're okay. You, too. I apologize. (laughs) Let's discuss, because this is amazing. The fact that we have not spoken. We had just gotten off the air together. Yeah. And the earthquake hit. And here's what's interesting. I, uh, that morning... Uh, after we got off, I had a school event to attend for Abigail. It was like a community project event. It was really nice uh, to see all the projects and all the kids and everything. And saw a lot of parents I ran into, and it was great. And then about 1030, the house, I thought a train was coming through. What happened? Really? Yeah. Well, I was napping. And all of a sudden... I hear all this noise on my dresser. I look up, things are moving on my dresser for like five seconds. I said, what's going on? My phone started to explode, people calling and texting, and I, there was an earthquake. There Mm -hmm. you have it. Yeah. I think you felt it a little more than I did. Uh, Yeah, felt it, uh, and couldn't believe when we found out that the epicenter was in New Jersey. And now, here's what's interesting. So I'm sitting there, and I, I... my, was that a sneeze? It was. I held it a sneeze. <laughs> you don't, you never have to hold in your sneeze with us, Candy. Never. Oh, my goodness. All right. Bless you. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the house starts shaking. At first, I thought it was, uh, like a big truck rolling by on the street because we've had that from time oh. to time. Okay. Right, I know, yeah. Then I'm like, no, no, that's it, it would not make that kind of shake. Then I go look out the window, and I look to see if, like, PSE&G or one of these companies is digging or doing some work or something's going on, or right? And there's, you know, nothing, doesn't seem to be anything on the street. I'm like, okay, that's a little weird. I sit back down. About, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, I get uh, on my family text, Dina, my sister, says, did anyone feel that earthquake? And I go, oh, my God, that was an earthquake. it. Now I know why everything on my dresser was bouncing around a little. It Uh, was pretty wild. Everybody, you know, my my son texted, Bubby, did you feel the earthquake? (laughs) Uh, My girlfriend called me. I'm getting all these things. It was crazy. But I, you know, listen. Five seconds is five seconds. That's Mm. about how long it lasted for me. Uh, I got a text from Leah at school. She said she didn't feel it, but she goes, all my friends are saying they felt an earthquake. Did you, you know, so, yeah, it was a big. Yeah, uh, Evan didn't feel anything in the city. Um, Yeah, so I guess it depended where you are. um, And that was a big doings. All of a sudden, CNN had it on. and uh, Oh, that was big all afternoon. That's all they were reporting everywhere. I forget who I was texting. I don't know if it was, uh, I don't think it was my sister Amy because she's on the the family chat. I was texting with someone and I said, you know, yeah, you don't believe me? Turn on CNN. And oh, everywhere. I, I remember I had, I got a call from a record label in Nashville uh, just to discuss music and whatever. They had no idea what had happened. And I was telling them what happened, and I told them to turn on CNN, and they couldn't believe it that we had an earthquake up here. So, yeah. um, Wow. I I have to say, if you recall, like two days prior, it was either Tuesday or Wednesday, I had mentioned on the air for all to hear that we are lucky to live where we live because we don't have to deal with earthquakes and tornadoes. Do you remember? Ah, Now I do, and it's your fault. (laughs) Yeah. 
I you couldn't challenge believe it. the her, the earthquake gods. I know. I am sorry. I really. Oh, you, know, you did it. I didn't you. mean it. Um, I'll give you the most interesting story I've heard about the earthquake. Uh, 33-year-old Justin Allen, who lives in Horsham, Pennsylvania, just outside Philly, uh, was about 40 miles from the epicenter. He happened to be in the middle of a vasectomy when the earthquake hit. Okay, wow, wow, and wow. So he was awake for the procedure, which is normal. He thought maybe a train went by. The doctor says, is that an earthquake? Uh, Justin thought the doctor was just saying that to lighten the mood. They stopped for a moment, figured out it was, and um, it looks like Justin might never have children again, Candy, because the surgery was a success. They finished oh, it up. Wow, that's and insane. Everything went fine. Now, uh, someone I've worked with said they were texting uh, an email to us that they were in the hospital having pre-surgery testing, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden... The woman from the said ten twenty three. Everybody out. They evacuated the hospital. Oh boy! This wow. was in New Jersey. Yeah, crazy, oh. right? That's wild. Could you imagine? No, um, I cannot. Some serious stuff going on in the hospital. I'm sure. And that was yeah. It was it. You know. And by the way, uh, they said that we get you know earthquakes every so often that um, you know are either too small to get reported or uh there are cities that like you know i saw the number like throughout well, we the have, country there's some faults in new jersey um right i'm not sure what their names are but yeah they're there i also i i should have written this down someone on the news said like there's five hundred thousand, you know minor little earthquakes throughout the year or so, something crazy like not wow. in new york just in general like i don't know there it was a whole thing. They're like, it's not as unusual as you think. It's just, it was, you know, you usually, don't usually not. usually feel it. Right. Usually That's not that difference. big. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Now, yeah. uh, we shall move on in uh, just a few from the earthquake to the eclipse, Candy. Yes, which is sort of a non-event for me, but we'll talk about it. Yeah, we got a lot to get into. Uh, what you should and shouldn't do, the timeline, the weather, because that could factor in here on Long Island. We'll tell you what they're saying. Uh, some facts and figures about the eclipse we will uh, delve into as well. We'll do that at 747. Uh, coming up before that at 730, special song. About an, an hour, less than an hour from now, 812. You're bald in the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Your national days and good news stories come up. Uh, late 8 o'clock hour. Uh, we're going to be about 60 today. Uh, we're going to have some sun, some clouds. Tomorrow in certain spots could be 66 to 70. Oh, now, now I'm getting excited. Yeah, we'll uh, be excited to see that tomorrow. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.